Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 34. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, next up is the Two Stroke Legends series. Uh, so we're going to be taking the Yamaha RZV500R, or the middle one on that option. This is the oldest bike out of this choice, but um, it seems to be the most powerful. Um, so we're going around... I say I'm a lot. I need to stop that. Uh, <laughs> I've done it again. So we're going to start with Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, then move on to Trial Mountain, and then the Special Stage Route 5. Let's do this. Right, here we go. We are here at the Laguna Seca Raceway. Let's get underway and see how well this bike does. Hopefully it does all right. Ooh. The brakes are fairly strong on this thing. For an old bike, they're fairly strong brakes. The acceleration is really good on this, but uh, after like 100 miles an hour, it seems to slow down big time. Obviously, the last video was very short um, because we were only at we only had three three lap races, and they were all at like the shortest tracks in the game. Um, but this one is too long. Uh, to actually put in with that, because then that would make it a 50 minute video. and it, Or like, 45 minute, and that's just too long for a 6 o'clock video. That's like, the 9 o'clock stuff. 6 o'clock stuff is normally below 30 minutes. So, yeah. Oh, nice. Good lap so far. Perfect. I am looking forward. I've mentioned this so many times. I am looking forward to playing the entire of the Forza series. That is something I am excited about. To do a massive project. Nice. Here we go. Catching up to second place right now. We're going to slam onto the brake. Use some late braking and knock them back. I'm very sorry about that. Here we go. Nice. Good bit of braking there. Alright, we're going to start slowing down here. Perfect. GG. Nice, nice. Oh, that was a very good exit. How can we be idling in second gear going around that corner? The bike would have to then shift down. Awesome. Again, Grant Polyphony should do another tourist trophy. I definitely enjoy this game so much, and we need another tourist trophy. Oh, 
that for the entire lifespan of the PS5, which I think will probably go on for over eight years at least, it's got to. Oh, nearly lost it. Um, if it goes on for eight years, we're going to need at least two main Gran Turismo titles. And maybe another gap title as well, like GT Sport. But like Gran Turismo 8 Prologue or something like that. But we are definitely going to need that kind of stuff. Guaranteed. Awesome. Let's try and get this overtake as soon as possible, preferably. There we go. We've made the pass. And we're on our way. Oh, what was that for? Just crash into the back of my bike. Like I'm not here. Awesome. We are looking very good round there. Nice. Three second lead so far. Three seconds. That's crazy. I'm gonna go for some early break in. Get ourselves round the uh, corkscrew as safely as possible. Nice. Perfect. G G. Awesome. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We've got ourselves a nice lead, but it's not big enough for a fall. So uh, falling off will ruin our race. So we need to stay safe. Make sure we don't fall off and go splat and we should be good to go. I said make sure we don't fall off and go splat and we fell off and went splat. But we did respawn in a fairly decent position at the exit of the uh, corkscrew, so we should be okay for that then. Nice. Awesome. And here we go, across the finish line. Very good. Eight minutes and seven seconds for that. That was a decent running time. Nice. For some reason, it says 99 brake horsepower in the menu. Yeah, the actual bike itself has 100 on the other, other screen. Which is very weird. Very weird. Right, we are here at Trial Mountain for five laps on the Two Stroke Legends series. Let's go. Look at the size of this bike. It's just tiny. It's a teeny weeny bike. Oh. Okay, teeny weeny bikes fighting back. 
It didn't like being called a teeny weeny bike. Awesome. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got five laps around the trial mountain, the mountain of trials. Go, go, go. This one we should be able to go flat out over the hill because um, there's not as much speed. The bike is only going about 130, 140 miles an hour over there, whereas uh, the super bikes would end up getting to about 190, which 50 miles an hour is a huge difference. Nice. Look at that. Oh, we went way too sharp there. Could have fallen off the bike. 4.3 seconds, which is the second per lap that we need to gain. Which should be easily gained without a problem. Nice. Awesome. I think I've mentioned this many times, but the big series, the big falls the series that I want to do it's just the one thing I'm looking forward to like it's the only thing I want to recall right now is just Forza but I know I can't do it yet because I don't want to start it yet until at least next year we start fresh for a for a new year and we start the new series start a new big series and that would be awesome Absolutely amazing. Then we could be known as the Forza guy who does all the Forza walkthroughs. Nice. Very good corner there. Perfect. Nice. Let's see how much speed can we actually get through here. 148. That's decent. And then the braking line is literally as soon as you're over the crest of the hill. You just start braking. Awesome. That was a really flowing corner there. Nice. Perfect. 
trying to get the best driving line through these corners. And obviously the best driving line is to hit the apex. Or fall off your bike. Probably better option. Nice. Nice. Oh, we've hit the wall there. Not great. We're definitely not going to get as a good speed on this straight this time. Perfect. Nice, nice. Perfect. This is good. This is really good. Got some good lap times going on here. Imagine Formula One cars go around this track. I don't even think like touring car would be able to go around this track because of the. I mean, they do it around Brands Hatch, so I think maybe this would be a sick touring car track, actually. Awesome. Nice. Final time coming up to this bend. One of my favorite corners of Trial Mountain is this corner here. That set of three bends. It just flows so well. No matter what car you're using or what bike you're using, as long as it can grip around those corners, the flow is perfect. Oh! Oh dear. That's not how you're supposed to take that section. But there we go, across the line, with a 143.966. Awesome. That was a very good lap time. G to the G. All right, here we go. We are at special stage route five for five laps. Let's do this. Oh, I do like special stage route five. It's a very nice track. This corner, uh, it's not like uh, you go past the start line and you have to instantly worry about stopping because uh, it's a decent time. There we go, nice. Come on, come on, perfect. Nice. Let's go around the corner. Perfect. Uh, I didn't like that. Did not like that. The uh, change in elevation was a bit too much for the bike. It was like, yeah, I'm on strike. Nice. Come 
Want some real speed, bitch? Oh, 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 ah, ah, careful. That was another over the top corner there. Perfect. Got to be careful we don't hit our head on the inside there. Because otherwise we'll fall off. Oh, nearly did it there. Oh, where's the turning circle? Does this thing even have a turning circle? It's tiny. Not tiny. Tiny is a good thing. Big. Like there is nothing. You cannot turn this thing. Obviously, these tracks were built for cars, which have, like, much smaller, tighter turning circles. Yeah. You can't take corners like that at that speed. There we go. Nice. On to the main straight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Careful of my head. Don't want to hit it on the wall again. I still think it's such a shame that they haven't got pits in this game. Like, it is such a shame. They don't need pit crews if they wanted it. They could just take them out for this game because it was advertised as a small game. It wasn't supposed to be a full-size game. I mean, I have got, like, full-size game amount of content out of it. Like, modern games. You think Need for Speed Heat, I got less videos out of that than this. A game from 2006 on a 4 gigabyte disc compared to Need for Speed Heat, which is 40 gigabytes and has no content whatsoever. Yeah, pretty, uh, not surprising. Forza Horizon 4 took me 28 videos. I lost one of them though, so I called it 26 and a half. That is the only video I've ever made that I've called a half video. Because it was like, well, I lost 27, so uh, I may as well turn 26 into 26.5. Because it's midway. I don't even know how I lost 27. I cannot remember at all. Oh, I forgot to turn off my Discord notifications. Me is big stupid. Awesome. Epic. That is an epic victory royale there. Fortnite memes. No, no. If you... I hate Fortnite. I cannot stand the game. It is a horrendous game. Anything battle royale, to be honest. Because those kind of games aren't aimed for casual players. So anyone who just wants to play a game and have fun cannot have fun on Fortnite. Because you get all these tryhards just like bang bang you're dead. 
you can't get a kill. What's the point? You play games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You've got people who are getting like 20 kills a game. That are sweating the game out. Literally try hard to ruin the gaming industry. Right? And I'm not saying that because I'm bad. Because I know I'm bad. But... They're just ruining casual. To the point that multiplayer isn't enjoyable anymore. I don't play multiplayer games anymore. I played them for two years. I played Rainbow Six and something else. What else did I play? I think it was Forza. But people would grind out, sweat the games out. Forza, they would find glitches to make their car fast and just crash into other people. And then fucking Rainbow Six, you just had tryhards that literally played it all the time. There wasn't an option where you could just play as a casual. And ranked would always put you against diamonds anyways in Siege. So there was no point in even going in ranked to try and get with people who were lower. Because it didn't work. Tryhards have ruined multiplayer games for people. And Fall Guys, the one game, right, that's recently come out that I thought Tryhards surely can't ruin this. Already trying to ruin it. It's funny. It's just funny. But here we go. That was my rant of the day. And we got the win. 1 minute 40, uh, 8 minutes 26. The last lap was 140. That was a decent race. I think the rant at the end made me very good at driving. And here we go. We got ourselves some driver gear. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. And a bike. A Buell Lightning City X. No, 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 no. No. No, uh, uh, nah, nah, no. Don't like it. Ugh, it makes me feel sick. Alright, we'll equip the number one. I don't like that bike. I don't like that style. I love the sports bike look, but not that style. And I think the PlayStation died again. Yup. Why is the disk drive not working? What the fuck has gone wrong with this thing? Alright, in you go. There we go. Now it's spinning. Stupid thing. And now... Ta-da! <laughs> ah, that was so anticlimactic. <laughs> I don't get what's going on with this thing. I've got two championships left to do today and then I can fix it later. Let's just go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.